welcome to this Drive Automator tutorial in which we're going to take a look at how we can use the send webhook action when creating an automation. So in Drive Automator, you're now able to set up an action that will send out an outgoing webhook to a third party platform. So this basically means that you can connect pretty much anything to your website by creating an automation in which you are using the send webhook action. So for example, if you want to connect your Drive dashboard to an autoresponder or a service for which we do not yet have a direct integration with, you can now do that by creating an automation and sending out a webhook to that platform. So we're going to take a look at how to do just that. And as an example, I'm going to create a connection to my MooSend account. And this way I can send out my new subscribers to my MooSend mailing list, even though MooSend is not yet in our list of available integrations. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to start by accessing Drive Automator from my WordPress admin dashboard. And here we are in the dashboard. As you can see, I have not yet created any automations, so I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to click on create your first automation here which will of course open the canvas where we can start customizing the automation. So the first thing I'm going to do is rename it. So I'm going to simply call this automation Moosend so I can find it easier when looking for it in the list of automations I have. So the first thing that you have to do to any automation that you start creating is to choose a start trigger. Now, as I said, this can be anything from our triggers list. I am going to go for the form submit one. As you choose a start trigger, you can also choose conditions to be met in case you want the start trigger to happen at certain times or for specific forms, for example, but I'm going to leave it set to always trigger. Then I'm going to click on done and now we have the start trigger. We will have to add our action. So of course, the action that we're going to add is the send webhook action. When you click on this one, you will see that you have to fill in some fields here and I'm going to show you how to do that. So this first field is the webhook URL field. Basically, this is where we have to insert our webhook URL. Now, each platform that you want to connect to should have information about the structure of this webhook. Now, what I did with Musen was to look for their API documentation. The first link that we have here in the Google search is this one that is called Moosend API and for which you will have some information. For example, if you go to mailing lists here, you can click on all of these actions. And if you take a look on the right side of this page, you will see this URL, which is basically the webhook URL that you need to insert in the first field. So as I said, the outcome that I want to get from this automation is to add users that sign up using a form from my website to a mailing list from Moosen. So I'm going to go to subscribers here and I'm going to look for this action. So this adding subscribers action looks like it's exactly the action that I need. So this one adds a new subscriber to the specified mailing list. So of course, I'm going to click on this one. And if we take a look at the right side again, we can see that we have to construct this URL in order to add it to that first field from Automator. What I mean by constructing the URL is that we need to change these items that are written in red with the information that we have here. So in our case, this URL will have to contain the mailing list ID. We're going to get this one from our Moosend account, the format, and this is the one that we're going to use as well, and the API key from our Moosend account again. So what I'm going to do is to copy this URL and simply open a notepad. I'm going to paste this URL here and now I will go and access my Moosend account and look for the mailing list ID. I have accessed my dashboard. I'm going to go to the mailing list section and I will use this mailing list and to get its ID, I'm going to simply click on it. And as you can see here, we have the mailing list ID. I'm going to copy the ID and open my notepad again. And I'm going to remove this example here and paste in the actual ID of my mailing list. Instead of format here, I'm going to input the format of my request and I also have to replace the API key here and I can find that one in my Moosend account by going to settings here and API key. And as you can see, I have an API key here. You can also generate a new one in case you want to do that. So I'm going to copy this one as well. Go back to my notepad, remove the example API key and paste in my own. 
So right now I have constructed the webhook URL. I'm going to copy this one and go back to my Tribe Automator dashboard. Naturally, I'm going to paste in the constructed URL in the first field here. So this is basically a request that will be sent to the third party platform. And then you will have to choose the request type, which can be a post, a get or a put type and the request format. Then you can choose the fields to be added to the mailing list. And this is the information that you're going to send to the mailing list. So for example, I want to send out the name and the email of the user that has completed my form. So I'm going to write the name here. And then the suggestion I have here is to use the dynamic data. So to send out the name to the mailing list, what you can do is click on the insert dynamic data option here, and then you can choose between form data and user data. The form data is going to send out the information that the user will complete in the form. So even if they use another name apart from the username, that will be the value sent out to your mailing list. So here it really depends on what type of information you want to send. If you use user data here, the information sent out to the autoresponder will be their username, for example, instead of the value that they type in the field. So for this reason, I want to use the form data information and send out the name from field value. I'm going to click on add new to do the same for the email. And of course, you can add as many fields as you want here, depending on what type of information you want to have in your mailing list. And then from this section, you can also send out a header if you want. And if you want that, you can click on custom here and add more values. Again, you are able to use dynamic data as well. I'm going to go for none here. And lastly, you can send out a test to your mailing list. I have just clicked on this button, which will send a test to your mailing list. You will also see a notification here to let you know if everything works properly or not. And when you do send out the test, this is what it will look like. So you will have a fake email and name, and the source here will be the API integration source. I will now click on done to save the details of the action. And when you're finished with the entire automation for which you can also add delays, filters or other actions, if you wish, you can simply click on save and finish. This will take you to the list of your automations. And don't forget that you also have to publish it in order for it to be active. And now each time someone submits information using a form from your site, they will be added to your mailing list. Now, of course, if you want to refer to a specific form, you can go for that option as well. And all you have to do is click on the start trigger and then choose a condition here. So instead of always trigger, you can choose the specific form condition and then clicking on this second field will show you the name of each form that you have published on your website. Again, don't forget to click on save and finish each time you make a modification to your automation. Then each time someone signs up using this form, they will be added to my Musen mailing list. So if we add some dummy text here and click on sign up and go back to my Musen account, as you can see, the values have been sent out to my mailing list with the API integration source. This is how you can use the send webhook action when creating a Tribe Automator automation. Now, please remember that this was just an example. And of course, you can make use of this action as you wish. Please remember to check out our Tribe knowledge base for more information about Tribe Automator. And we do have a section with examples of automations. So make sure to check those ones as well if you need help or ideas on how to use this plugin.